guys, so this is going to be a quick video on how to super elevate your curves uh, like the prototype railroads do. Super elevation just means that the curves are banked so that the trains kind of ease into the curve at an angle and can go a little bit faster around the curve. So the way that I like to do it is to use a combination of two sizes of cork, the Midwest Products N-Scale cork and then the larger HO scale cork. So what I do first is I glue down uh, with tight bond the regular HO scale size and then the N scale goes on the inside uh, with a little bit of a break in between. Um, so we do that for the entire curve starting, you usually want to start depending on what kind of equipment you're running. If you're running you know, longer passenger cars you might want to start uh, with about a foot before your curve. Um, in this case what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use our sanding tool. Um, I picked this up at the hardware store. It's a uh, basically for grinding uh, different surfaces and use that to uh, grind down both the side edge of the HO scale and then grind uh, where the where it meets uh, so that this section here will have a transition uh, to the lower the lower part. And the other thing to note is that on the prototype, it's actually the outer edge that goes higher uh, rather than the inside edge going lower. But honestly, that's just our dirty little secret. Nobody's going to notice on your layout. Okay, so now you can start gluing your track down, or if you're like me, uh, go ahead and put the track nails in. Um, if you are using nails, just one thing to be careful of, you want to remember that there's a gap here, and that if you push down too hard, or if you get a little too overzealous with the hammer, you will uh, break the ties and go right into that kind of crack there. So, um, with that said, you can go ahead and uh, finish up and start running your trains.